Hey, C3 family, today's subject is freedom. Feel free to listen in to all the exciting things that are happening here at C3. In the Sermon on the Mount, one of the acts of righteousness that our Lord and Savior mentions is giving. And you here at C3 have been a part of that righteous act for a long, long time. Thanks for your partnership in generously giving to the work of the kingdom here at the church. And if you came prepared to do that again today, there's three ways, as always, that you can do that. First, you can drop your offering in the baskets in the lobby on your way out, or you can give securely either online or through the C3 app. Hey, camp season's in full swing out the ark, and uh, we have partnered with them for a lot of years through giving scholarships. The church pays half for those students that are already going, but there may be an opportunity for us to pay another half if somebody has a need. You could help with that. If you want to make a donation for camp scholarships, you can designate that and drop it in the baskets on your way out, or you can contact the office for more information about how you can give. Thanks. And this is a shout out to everyone in the 19 to 30 year old range. We call you guys the 1930s and you have a life group here at church. But even if you're not part of that life group, you are welcome after service to go over to Borderman Park across the road. We're going to have a cookout. We're going to have a great time, just kind of food fellowship and have fun. Everyone in that life group range. I'm not in that range, so I'm not going to be there with, hanging out with you guys, but y'all have fun. Hey, if you're a junior high or a high school student and part of the Loft Student Ministries, there's going to be a gathering tonight at the Warnock House. There's going to be a pool party. There's going to be yard games. There's going to be all sorts of fun had with your friends. And if you'd like to be a part of it, it's from 6 to 8 p.m. at Kevin and Katie Warnock's house. We hope we'll see you there. register or not we just want you to come and join us to taste and, and see, see how good the lord is i have so much awesome free candy <laughs> <laughs> Hey, just a heads up for elementary parents. Next week, July 3rd, uh, there will be first hour programming for our C3 kids in the elementary program. The second hour, those kids will need to be picked up in the check-in area and taken to the sanctuary with you for worship. Hey, the deadline has come and gone for those of you high school students that were planning on getting signed up for the Cedar Point trip. But if you're in junior high and you would like to go on the river float down at Sugar Creek, I guess it'd be a creek float, wouldn't it, Shane? If you'd like to get signed up for that, it's not too late. June 29th is the deadline for that. Check out the socials for all the information. We hope to see you there. I like root beer floats, honestly. Oh, Shane. <laughs> Hey, you guys need to know the amazing resources we make available to the whole church at The Porch. The Porch is the place in the lobby that you can find resources for your family, resources for your spiritual walk as an individual, resources for your kiddos, your students. It's an amazing place where you can grab all kinds of things to help you on your walk with Jesus. And we just put some new resources there. You all should check them out after service. Hey, speaking of The Porch, and this one's for you parents of kiddos. We have a cool resource there called Faith Path that can help you as your child ages. There's certain age markers that you can actually find different resources to help them walk through different things as they grow up. Check out these markers on the screen. And if your kid's in one of those age groups, we have a resource at the porch that you can grab. So go and check it out and look for that specific age group and grab one of those resources today. That's a lot of great stuff. We hope you're just as excited as we are about what's going on in the life of the church.